Dripping Springs ISD decided to postpone discussion on maybe removing the words sexual orientation and gender identity from the district's anti-discrimination and harassment policies. This comes after public outcry from people in that district and before receiving the feedback, the board was scheduled to discuss the topic tonight. Our Sam Stark talked to vested members about the issue. In a document with proposed updates to its school district policies, under the statement of non-discrimination, you'll see two words crossed out, sexual orientation and gender identity. The board decided to postpone the discussion on removing those two words at Monday night's board meeting, but still dozens attended to voice their concerns. I was shocked and saddened to learn that proposed revisions to the hiring, bullying, and non-discrimination policies Christopher Robertson has two children in the district. Right. What problem are they solving by removing references to sexual orientation and gender identity from anti-harassment language? Oh. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. As like a human being with empathy, it makes no sense to me. In a statement to Kix, Anne, a Dripping Springs ISD spokesperson said the proposed changes were an attempt to align with state and federal laws and their intentions were not to remove protections for LGBTQ plus students and staff. State Representative Carrie Isaac, who attended the meeting Monday, said she supported the district's move to change the language. We do not need an additional protected class. We do not need to protect one class over another. This is not equality. This is this is not progress. This is regression. In Dripping Springs, Sam Stark, KXAN News. And adding some depth to this, other school districts have already enacted similar changes. Last summer, the Carroll ISD Board in North Texas approved a new student handbook and code of conduct that no longer contain references to transgender and sexual orientation. NBC Dallas reports the school board also voted to restrict restroom use to the gender assigned at birth, and teachers are not required to use a student's preferred pronouns.